in this space and this capacity right now because somebody didn't wake up today and yet we're here to fight another fight. So I'm just so grateful and thankful uh, for this opportunity. Um, I'm going to start out just with a question. Did you say thank you for the mere fact that you're able just to sit in your chair? Did you say thank you just for the mere fact that you can get in your car and get from point A to point B? Did you say thank you for the fact that you can turn on your light switch and your light bulb is involved? You're probably listening right now. What, what is that? What does that have to do with anything? You see, because if you sat in your chair and the chair literally laid you down, how would you feel? How would you feel? Would you be happy? What? What would you be? You'll be mad, right? You won't acknowledge that. Well, the fact that you gotta get in the car, you gotta get to a beat, and the car doesn't crack, what are you gonna feel? You're gonna be frustrated. Well, the fact that you turn the light switch on, you gotta get to a day, wherever you gotta go, but the light bulb is low. Point in case is you're gonna be frustrated. All I'm saying is, as human beings, we more often than not in society acknowledge the not so good of life versus the good. And we wonder why we have so many youth and so many, or even adults that face anxiety, right? Or depression and lack of confidence. You don't know what you don't know. And it's hard to be anything you haven't seen or heard. Let me break it down. Let's do this. I want everybody to close their eyes right now. Close your eyes. And I want you to think about where you stay. What does your living room look like? What's in front of you? What's behind you? What's beside you? Keep your eyes closed. Now, what does your nose look like? What does your ear look like? Now, open your eyes. No cap. You can see your living room, right? You can see what's in front of you. You can see what's behind you and beside you. But when I ask you, well, what does your nose look like? I saw something like that. What does your ear look like? Could you see your nose? Could you see your ear? Oh, you no. Why is that? What is the only time you can see your nose in your ear? Through a what? Talk to me. You said a mirror? A mirror is a reflection, right? You see, there is another side of reflection, and that's the words that we speak to ourselves and the words that we speak to others. Again, it's hard to be anything you haven't heard or you haven't seen. That makes sense? Let me break it down. No cap. There is a way of thinking big. Whatever you speak, whatever you magnetize is what you magnify.
takes his famous flight to Greenberg and lives an extra 40 years. That's a true story. The Eagles are always thinking big. This is what I'm going to do. Anytime I say no cap, I want you to say think big. All right? That makes sense? That makes sense? Let's try. No cap. Christopher, Emmanuel, um, I train agency organizations and institutions all over the world on how to work with fathers, families, and youth, not against, through training, speaking, seminars, and even fashion, so that we can create stronger families that ultimately lead to stronger communities. No cap. When I think of thinking big, 14 years ago, if somebody would have asked me, hey Chris, where are you gonna be 14 years from now? You know what, you're gonna be a speaker, you're gonna be traveling all over the world. You're gonna have to fight for your life, for the one thing that you love the most. You know what I would say? No, not me. No, ain't no way. I'm gonna run track. I'm gonna be a track star, right? That's me. It's crazy when I, when I, in fact, when I think about that, 2008, Spring Valley High School, and literally it's like a valley, when you look at the track, it goes down, the bleachers go down, and if you look up, you can see, you know, all your people and everybody walking around, right? But I was seated number three in the state to win, long time. So, as I'm getting ready, getting ready to run down the aisle, right? I get down the runway, and guess what? I scratched on my very first four attempts. Had some obstacles. And the next thing you know, I hear somebody, Chris, you can do it. Step back. Somebody saw something, right? So I take a step back. And I go through my phase. And on my very last attempt, I won. And I became a state champion. True story. I'm going to run track. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to the Olympics. No cap. No cap. What problems do you 
on the song? No cap. What do you want to be two years from now? What are you going to put yourself in that position? What are you telling yourself every single day? Are they speaking life into you? Are you speaking life into yourself? No cap. Are you going to be an eagle? Or are you going to be a chicken? You see, you're going to go through pain. You're going to be inconvenienced. You're going to be uncomfortable. You're going to be tested. You're going to have naysayers. The friends that you want to stop with, friends, it's going to be totally different. Can I be real? As much as you want that boyfriend, that girlfriend, that new shoe, that new car, you got to want your purpose. You got to know what brings you alive. What is your legacy going to be? Yes, it's okay to dream. You can play sports. Yes, get your education. Communication is education. Relationships are worth more than money. But last but not least, y'all, the question is more important than the answer. I'm going to say it again. The question is more important than the answer. You know what it is? That's it, that's all. I appreciate your time and your energy. Again, thank you very much.